Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel tutorial. Today I will show you how to use toggle button inside the Laravel table. Okay, so basically this is the member listing and here we can see the status that is all active. So without refreshing the page, if you want to change the status of member, how we can do this. So basically click on the active, so it will become the inactive and click on this in this okay so in this way we can do this so let's see how we can do this so last day we have learned about how to use data table inside the Laravel application and today we are going to add a column that is status column and inside the status we'll add the toggle button to toggle the status so this is my Laravel application and this is my database so this is the member table okay and now it's all status is active and using the toggle button we will change the status of the member okay so let's use this so to implement the toggle button we have the bootstrap toggle cdn so just go to the google and use bootstrap toggle cdn okay so just go to the link and here we can see the bootstrap toggle main js and bootstrap toggle css so just copy the js okay and this is the member list so copy inside the head tag and just copy the css also and just paste it before the script tag okay. so bootstrap toggle sit and add it so now we need to add a column so i am adding the header that is status and and for that i will create the toggle button so just write td and close the td so inside this we will add the button so this is the toggle button addition so here i am taking the basic checkbox and i am passing the member id so here i am getting all members record and in member we are getting the single member records and this is the id i am passing with the checkbox and here i have added the data on style means so when the active will show it will use the success because we have already used the bootstrap okay so this is a bootstrap plus danger and success so when it will on style that will show success and if off style that means danger okay means when it will remain as active it will say as success okay and i'm using the data toggle is toggle and this is the simple text that is data on and data off so when it will uh, remain as active it will say the label that is active and when it will toggle off that will say as inactive so let's use the toggle class to call the toggle okay so here just write so here i am creating a function and inside the function i am using the dot selector that is the class so i am using the dot selector with the class name and when it will check the checkbox uh, it will affect that means it will toggle so uh, using the change function i am using this and here i am taking the true variable that is status and member id so basically when it will prop as two that means we want to make it status into active and if zero that means it's as inactive and i am getting the data id so from here i am getting data id and now we to call the ajax to make changes into the database so using ajax we'll call the controller method and using the controller method basically we'll change into the database so use this so basically this is the ajax code and here i am passing the type with the gate and derivation format and here i am sending into the url that is change status basically basically this is the laravel url we need to create a url into the web.php and i'm passing these two variable which you have declared basically this value will pass to this url and this is the basically success function so when it will execute after that it will return the success okay and for this url we need to create a route 
so just go to the web.php so create a route that is route double colon that is get and the url is change status okay so here i am using the same controller that is the member controller so which i have already added into the route that is member controller so just use this member controller here so inside the bracket just use the member controller okay i have mistake uh, i need to close the semicolon okay and after that the class and and now we need to call the functions which we will create in the member controller so basically i am creating a function change member status okay and i am calling the name that is name basically i am using the same name as a url so here i am writing the name that is change status okay so now we need to create a function into the member controller so just copy this and create a function that is public function the function name that is change number status so basically we'll call the url from here and it will react to web.php and web.php is really calling to this method okay so here i'm passing two variables it will get into the request so just use the request here i have request so just copy here i'm taking it and a dollar request okay so now we need to update record the member table so this is the member table and for this table we have a model so just call the model that is member and find the request member id basically member id is passing from here so just finding the member id and all these things i am taking in in a variable suppose members variable and i need to update the status so just to write the members status okay and basically the member status will be be request arrow which i am passing that is status okay so status and finally save this okay so my blade is ready and it's calling from web.php and my controller is ready so let's refresh the page so so here i am getting the toggle switch in the listing so very simple we can see this now change the status from the listing page suppose i am changing from the first record status active to inactive so i'm clicking and it's make it inactive so just go to the database and refresh once so we can see the status change into zero that means inactive i am clicking another and refresh this with zero and if you want to get back into the active so just click on the first and refresh this so it becomes active so very simple so in this way we can use the toggle button with the toggle button cdn and we have a bootstrap and a lot of helps from laravel so please comment if you have any queries about this video so next day we will going to discuss about another topics in laravel so please like and subscribe to this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye